Okay, so one plus two thirds over one minus two thirds. Again, in this one, we're going to simplify the top, simplify the bottom, and then divide at the end. So the first step is to add one plus two thirds. In other words, convert one into thirds and then add. So basically you want to think how many thirds are contained in one, right? So one plus two thirds is how many thirds plus two thirds? It's one is three thirds, right? Yeah. That's the trick there. So we have three thirds plus two thirds, that's five thirds. All over, all over, one minus two thirds. So again, we have a one, we want to convert that to thirds. One is three thirds. So we have three thirds minus, sorry, uh, two thirds. which is one third. Any questions to there? No. Hear that? So this, so again, we have three division bars, which is confusing. This, this for the five thirds, this one for the one third, but this one in the middle is like a big divide by sign. So what you need to do next is rewrite this complex fraction as something divided by something. Can we do that? So that should be 5 thirds divided by 1 third, right? Which is 5 thirds times Flip the fraction on the right and multiply. 3 over 1. Okay. And now we can multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, and get the answer. But instead of getting 15 over 3 and dividing, it would be easier to... Cross-multiply, right? 3 into 3 goes once, here and here. 5 times 1 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1, we get 5 over 1, or just the number 5. Any questions on that?